All right, I'm going to be getting ready here to go fishing on the Angelina River for the first time. Um, my wife took a travel nursing assignment down here in Lufkin. And we rented this place. Uh, it's just four miles from the Angelina boat ramp on Highway 7. So, Me and the girls went out and explored it the other day, drove around. Uh, different level, uh, different level, different river than the Sabine. The banks are so much shorter. So uh, looks really cool and you can see out the bottoms at all times. But. Anyhow, <laughs> getting ready to go put my plug in. Got a little cold last night, I'd have to say. But get that knocked off hard. Go ahead and get my plug in. One less thing to do when I'm at the ramp. And I got to grab my, just got my little bait cooler here and net. And I, I think my Mr. Bubbles. I bought me a new 12 volt one, but uh, for now, for here, just on this little, I got my little D one. Um, but we're gonna head down here to the side of the road, cross the fence. The place we're renting is 47 acres. It's got a nice creek on it. I've been catching perch down there, so we'll go down there and get the perch. Well, against my better judgment, I uh, I put uh, water from the hydrant in there because I need a bucket. The reason I need a bucket is because the creek water down here, getting my cooler up and down this bank with no handles and stuff like that would just be difficult and uh, really awkward <clears throat> getting that up. If I had a five gallon bucket, it would, you know, make things much simpler. But you know, go over here and check my trap. It just is easy to, versus where we're staying, I don't have a way to drive down here. So it's easier just park on the side of the road right here and walk over here and get the trap. Down here in this creek, and there's a lot of beaver activity, so hopefully my trap is still here. That'd be a plus. Oh, yeah. And what is that? That is the biggest chain pickler I've ever seen right there, guys. Which, these are a protected fish. I'll throw him back, but there's some good bait in here, for sure. I'm gonna need both hands. I'm just gonna throw what I want in this net and run back to the truck. Throw them in there. Um, just doing what you can with what you can. And hey, real quick, I wanna shout out, I got some uh, Texas Up More Jet gear. Uh, there'll be a link in the description of this. You just click on it, order whatever. It's just as easy like ordering from any other site. But sweaters are awesome. Beanies, there's t-shirts, caps, stuff like that. Go check them out. Anyway, let's get this to go to the river. Well, here's what I ended up with. Probably 15 or so. Well, Mr. Bubber doing his thing. Just hope that uh, faucet water don't kill him before I get him hooked in there. Go to the river. I bought this little uh, 2002 Jeep Liberty for tooling around in. It's four wheel drive, but I'm keeping street tires on it because they're going to be putting a lot of miles on it back and forth to Lufkin here the next couple months. But it pulls the boat okay. Pretty much leave the overdrive off and run it up about 3,000 RPM. But uh, most of the time I'm pulling a boat just tooling around anyway, so not a huge deal, but a couple more miles will be at the old ramp. Well, we're on the river now. Uh, man, the water just looks catfishy. I wish it was a little bit warmer. Uh, but I don't reckon it's going to be. Here's these lower banks. The river only got about three foot of water in it, the best I can tell looking at the gauges. It's on a small fall as well, so we're going to make sure we don't jump over any logs or anything like that um, but tomorrow we might not be able to get back over so we're just gonna keep it close to the bridge for now I got this dang cut on my hand um, and over time right there on that tiller kind of a pain in the butt but it ain't the worst thing what's the old saying I've, uh, I've had worse sores on my lips and kept whistling but Anyway, we're gonna get a few of these set out. I've got one set out back there. It's just by myself. It's just kind of impossible to video and, and, and put a line out. So, a little crane up here on the bank. You can't see him in the video, but anyway, we're gonna get a few set out. Maybe we'll have something on on the way down. Well, I'm not always just real picky on where I set a line. Um, I don't want dead water. You just end up with more gars and turtles eating on your bait than anything else. and. If you get too swift of water, you know, your, your live bait can't really function like you'd like it to. So I always like a clay bank, a steep bank, obviously with some structure in it. There's a root ball stump up there and you want some current and 
I even like bowling current. I mean, it. If you're watching this, you probably catfish and do what you do anyway. Uh, so, I just like brown water. Brown water and sharp hooks. That's really all it takes. Out here now, do a little rod and reel fishing. All I got is some earthworm throw on there. Um, more or less just sitting in the sun right here soaking it up because it's still pretty chilly you get going but it feels nice when you're stopped but uh we'll sit on this pole right here and see what it does and we'll run up there and look at them lines and i'm gonna head back and get the girls and really run the lines for good all right we got the lillian paisley down here we're off this little county road not far from where we're staying we're gonna try to catch some little mud cats maybe even some big perch um one thing about not fishing around your home is you don't really have the best idea of where to get your bait. So we're just scavenging around trying to find what we can. Well, Lily and I are down here at the creek. This is where I got the perch traps this morning. It had the perch in them. Um, hoping that we could catch us a few right here. I mean, it's still a couple hours before the art, but um we don't have any bait to bait up with tonight so once again just some more of the struggles of not being at home on your home turf i mean when i'm at home i can catch bait i got my own ponds i got permission to other ponds it's just, you know pretty easy to get what i need but uh, we're out on the road like this just gotta make do and it's kind of fun too and it's great it's great time spending with the kids and See if we can't get to some. We did move the traps. We had them set off that little hot county road on a little slough. We actually moved them over to the main creek. Hopefully, um, we can get a few. We only need about 10 to bait up tonight. If I don't get more than 10, then we may not bait up, which is unfortunate, but kind of make it worth our time. All we have caught today, we did go around the lines, and I didn't video any of it. Uh, we didn't really catch anything. <laughs> Caught a grinnel. A little crappie. That was it. Which is kind of odd for me. Don't I don't ever catch that stuff on the Sabine. But, you know, we're only 30 miles uh, upstream from Sam Rayburn. So maybe that's more typical on a river like this. All right, we're getting ready to go. We had to switch rides. Mama took the car to work i take this one when i got lila with me we're about to have every the whole crew just come back here and check i had the girls hook the boat up put the hitch in here and stuff everything looks good to me they didn't cross the deals but we ain't going but four miles so that's gonna work out good let's see lila you ready to go run them lines baby take them up so i have very little expectation i mean this uh this isn't what i would call a fishing trip i mean we're fishing but more of a putting my toes in the water type deal, seeing what's going on. Let's go take them up. They hadn't been baited since about four o'clock yesterday and it's already noon now. So that's four times longer than I usually let a hook set in the water without checking the bait. Let's go. Uh, we gotta go get these kids' life jackets on, and today, funny thing is, it must be easy to bring your soccer mom ride to the river day. <laughs> Got two soccer mom rides here, so here we go. Look at Peyton Lily Paisley here. Side Paisley. Ah, right, here we go. Here's our first little line. You got it, honey? Yeah, her hair is something, ain't it? Yeah. Now we're not baiting. Remember, we're going to pull it on up, so get all the way down to the weight. Man, we still got good bait on there. Some dead bait, but... Hmm. There's that little cat. We're going to roll this one up, Lai. We still got bait on there. On to the next one.
the old flatheads are not running right now. That line right there had every bait left on it. Lila, you're gonna have to find us some better spots. Is it still alive? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now go ahead and untie it then. Just make sure you hold it tight, okay? Mama's gonna kill me while your hair looks in this video. Pull hard. There you go. Make sure you hold it tight. all tangled up. Nothing. Urgh. It's alright. Fish on there? I mean, we don't hardly really have no bait missing. Uh, it's just not the right time. We're not on the Sabine either. We're on the Angelina. We don't know what we're doing down here. All right, well, we didn't catch. We caught a few on rod and reel yesterday, just tiny little, not even keepers. Um, so this trip was kind of been almost what you'd call a skunk, but we were fishing for flatheads on a river we've never fished. Uh, oh, I do. I'm going to check the water temperature here in a minute. I'll write it in up here in the screen what the water temperature was. I got me a little thing, but uh, water looked great. You know we're just learning and this little stretch of river right here on highway 7 i mean there, there's old people left their old just trashy folks leave their lines all up and down it, it looks like it may be fished pretty hard maybe there's just not a lot of flatheads right here uh in this stretch but me having a little lila here uh, i wasn't up for long boat rides and stuff like that and we're still just kind of messing around with our our bait situation trying to uh you know have that where it's we can rock and roll and run our line several times a day and have all the bait to do it which honestly bait ended up not being a big deal i mean the, we took the lines up today and these lines have been out for over 12 hours uh most of them still had their bait so one had all of his bait yeah one had all of his bait so they're just not they're just not biting or they're just not here to bite so we're gonna learn and we're gonna keep trying be a week another week or two probably before we get back out here on the angelina uh, just with the scheduling and work stuff like that. So, anyway, appreciate y'all for watching the skunk video. <laughs> Either way, we had fun.